Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back again in the Glowforge app, and we're going to make another sweet keychain using Glowforge Premium. So, my friends, let's get cracking. So, once again, we're going to simply hit create. I'm going to do it out of acrylic again just because I enjoy that. Today, we're going to use the sweet image search. Let's type something like run and see if they have a little running dude, which they do. I like this one right here. And then I am going to shrink this down with the proportions locked so it fits in the little clear area because I found that's a decent size for my keychains. Notice you can have different settings for these, which is kind of cool because they are separate parts. I'm going to do them as one. But then I'm also going to add some text. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see better what we're doing. And I'm going to add some text using the sweet text option. When it pops up, I'm going to type my phrase. I'm going to do let's go with an exclamation point. And then I'm going to press enter to actually lock in that part. Now, once you've got it made, you can switch your fonts, which I recommend doing because quite often I have changed fonts without my words and then it restarts. So instead of Titan 1, let's see what else is interesting. Ooh, this is kind of cool. When these are in and they're locked, they scale in the same amount in every direction. If I move this over here, you can see that looks pretty sweet. But if we're counting, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 centimeters. Uh, I like to keep my uh, projects for keychains around 7 centimeters. So if this is 2 and this is 5, that's more reasonable. To make the words fit, I can then unlock the proportions and pull those down so that they look exactly the way I want. This is where it gets kind of cool, is with those two shapes created, I can select them. And now when I go over to the outline tool and I create it, it goes around both shapes to make my keychain cut out. Just like that. Now to get it to fit on my project, let's make it so it's turning up red first because it's going to be a cut. I'm going to use my 03 140 speed 100 power that's built for the 7 millimeters. And then because this is unlocked, I can just pull this up and pull this down, but it keeps these distances the way the program built it at the 6.3 millimeters that I had put in there. I want to stretch it out just a little more so I have room for the hole. And then all we do is go to the hole tool. I'm going to turn back on my proportions. I could scale by hand, but I know I want a five millimeter hole. So I'm going to just type it and press enter and they snap to that size. With the select tool, I'm going to grab that little guy and I'm going to drop it in place. I like that right there. Let's change his settings to that same 3147. Let's go to the little dude. Now this is kind of a trick here. I can't select him all at once anymore. But if I do shift select, I can get all three pieces. And for his settings, I want to go into my acrylic engrave. And I want to do this 500 speed, 20 power, 30 lines per centimeter, one pass, seven millimeters. And then I'm going to go over to the let's go and I'm going to do that same thing. But then I'm also going to click on that shape and do control C, control V to get a second one. And then I want this one to be a light cut. So let's zoom in again so we're close, maneuver so we can see it. And then this one, when I click on it, let's get my select tool again click that settings option and I want to use a score so these outlines are more pronounced and I'm gonna just make it so that it outlines those letters a little bit now you want that lined up as good as you can so I'm gonna zoom way in you can see I was off by a little bit now I'm pretty happy but I'm gonna pan so I got a better view of it now the whole project is a tiny bit low you can see that might not work so I'm going to click back on my outline and it doesn't hurt anything. Oops, I don't want proportionate, so I'm going to undo that. And it's good to know where the undo button is anyhow. And I can just pull that bottom cutout up. And then I can also grab the whole project. And I'm not going to be too sad if there's a little bit of 
the funny little white up on the top either. Once again, undo if you hit something you don't want to. I'm going to make sure I'm on that outline. And I'm just shrink it from the top just a little. Alrighty, friends, just like that, we've built a sweet little keychain. Let's hit the print button and send it to the Glowforge. Alright, friends, everybody's favorite part. There we have it. After about three minutes, awesome little let's go keychain. How sweet is that? Alrighty friends, so there you have it. Uh, probably five minutes designing and three minutes cutting and cute little keychain uh, almost instantly. I'm not sure how much they're gonna charge for the Glowforge Premium, but right now while it's in beta, I think it's super cool and it's so powerful to be able to do this without any tools. You can instantly make something with your Glowforge. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.